Good morning, I'm so excited. It's Monday, March 6th, and today is, we're, you know, we're just coming into spring. Spring is actually only going to be about two weeks away from today, March 20th. Um, and next Sunday, we actually spring forward an hour, which gives us an extra hour of sleep. No, yeah. Yeah, it gives us an extra hour of sleep and we get um, an extra hour of daylight in the evening. So that's pretty exciting. I do want you to remember, even though you've got that extra hour, that you still need to get your seven to eight hour sleep, okay? All right, so here's the, what the week holds. If you're brand new, please shine your sink. You will love it. Um, if you're on routines, uh, our routines are our morning routine, our uh, laundry routine, our after dinner routine, our evening routine, and if you have a paper clutter situation, you want, want to add your paper routine. So let's start with what happens next. So after we do our routines, which we all will do every day for the rest of our lives, let's go through morning routine real quick to see how easy it is. Okay, so you wake up in the morning. In general, you make your bed, run to the restroom, wash your face, brush your teeth, comb your hair, wash your, uh, put on your moisturizer, put on your makeup if you wear that, get dressed to shoes, wipe out your sink, um, swish your toilet, go to the kitchen, um, let's see, empty the dishwasher or the drain rack, and make a little coffee or whatever you wanna have to drink for breakfast and make some breakfast and start your day. You can slip right into the laundry. If you're staying home, go ahead and put some laundry in, wash your laundry, um, and then while that's work going, you can work on your weekly plan item. Um, and then if you're on weekly plan, if you're not, if you're just on zones, you can relax. Um, once you've done zones for about a week, though, I'm gonna recommend that you start your weekly plan. And then your afternoon, your uh, after dinner routine is simply running into the kitchen after you eat with your dish, putting it in the dishwasher, in the dish water, washing it if you have to wash it and put it in the drain rack. If not, get the rest of the family in there, get their dishes in the dishwasher, then do a quick wipe of the countertop, a quick wipe out of the sink, a quick wipe of the stovetop, and if you need to, run the broom around in the kitchen for a little bit. Now that's your after dinner routine. It happens really quickly. If you put it off, it becomes a bigger job. And then before you get too tired, I'd like you to start your evening routine. So do you determine what time you need to be in bed in order to get seven to eight hours of sleep. Before you get too tired, start your evening routine. Simple, run to your closet, pick out some clothes that are in good repair, that are clean and that look nice. Hang them in a separate place away from your closet, not in your closet unless you've got a special hook or something. You wanna differentiate these clothes. So they're sitting aside, you've got your shoes that go with that, and if you're wearing some jewelry, put that aside. So in the morning, you'll have it to put on. Okay, um, what else do you do? Now your clothes, okay. Um, but right before you go to bed, wipe out the sink real quick and put a new towel in there. Uh, put your uh, old dish towel, your dirty dish towel or dishcloth in the laundry. And hmm, you've gotta brush your teeth, wash your face, get your PJs on and put your clothes away. But don't you do these things every day? Maybe you don't put your clothes away, but in general, you kind of do these things anyway. This is giving you a little more um, refined control over what you're doing. Um, let's see, what else? Go to bed. Now you might want to check your, your planner and see what you have planned for the next day. You might want to check the weather. That'll affect how, how you're going to dress the next day or how the children are going to dress. Um, make sure the kids have their lunches or those types of things. But in general, that's it. Super simple. These are kind of things you, you're probably doing. If you're doing it hit, and miss, hit or miss, then this is going to improve your situation. All right, you're going to do these every day. It's going to be fun, and you're going to feel in control. You are going to be the bulwark. You're going to be the strength of your family with these routines because these routines prevent chaos. Okay, now, if you're on weekly plan, which you should be after the first week, then what we want to do is today is Monday, so it is weekly home blessing hour. Love home blessing hour. Now, I used to dread it, but I thought, let me just try it when I first started it. And it was like, oh my gosh, this is so fun. And actually, once the clutter is gone, you'll find it so much easier to clean your house. Um, but anyway, I digress. Let's go into this. So you're going to set your timer for 10 minutes or seven minutes, seven to 10 minutes, and you're gonna hit seven areas. And those areas are 
Paper clutter, so like if you have magazines or newspapers, you're gonna get rid of those. It should take you less than 10 minutes. It, it will take you less than 10 minutes because when 10 minutes is up, you have to stop. And you go right to the next thing, which is, let's just say, let's start at the top and work our way down. So let's say, um, a strip, you know, what I actually do on the morning of weekly home blessing, instead of make the bed, I strip the bed and put the sheets in the washing machine. So they're my laundry and they're already going. So when I start my weekly home blessing, by the time I've had breakfast, sometimes it's time to put the sheets in the dryer. So move the sheets over. If they're not ready, just let them wash. Um, so start with sheets. Then I would do my, it doesn't matter how you do them. You can do any way you want, but I'm just gonna give you how I do it. So I would start with my mirrors in the bathroom. Um, I just wipe the little spots off, not the whole thing. You're just gonna get the little spots and any other glass in your house that has spots or puppy nose prints or things like that, children's fingerprints. Wipe those real quick, 10 minutes or less. All right, then when you're done with that, dust. Now, we're not gonna dust in the traditional way. We are not moving things around. We're not worrying that we make it in a certain S pattern that we use a special spray. We're not doing any of that. We're going to use either a fly dust, a fly, um, well, I call it a fly feather duster, but any du feather duster that's a good quality feather duster will do because they're like a magnet. They, they suck up the, the, uh, the dust, but a little Swiffer duster will do it too. Just don't move things around. If they're big, just leave them on. They're tiny little things you might wanna pick up and move just for a second so you don't knock them over, but you're just going quick. It's, we're not moving things around. We're not doing an official polish. We're just doing a quick little dust. You run through the house in less than 10 minutes, you can have the whole thing done. All right, then when you're through with dusting, and then you're going to, um, let's see what's next. Empty the garbages, all the little garbage cans in all the rooms. So Grab up the little bags that you've got in there and throw them in the garbage outside. Get new liners and put them in. That should take you less than 10 minutes. And then we're going to mop the floors. So you may want to sweep real quick and then mop the floors that need mopping. Now we are not going to be mopping the whole floor. We're just going to mop the traffic areas. So in your kitchen, that would be in front of the sink, in front of the fridge, in front of the stove, maybe in front of the pantry. We're not like moving the chairs and mopping under the table. We're not getting in the corners. We're just doing a real quick little blessing. And in the bathrooms, depending on how big, mine are so small that I can mop the whole bathroom. And I have three. So I mop the kitchen and the three bathrooms in less than 10 minutes. Um, what I've used is one of those little dirt devil um, squeezy, you know, they make all different kinds. Swiffer makes them, but you just push the button and a little water comes out or a little cleaner and you just push the, push the little stick around and it's done. Doesn't matter, you could use a wet mop, anything you wanna do, but just quick and easy and you're done. And then next, we're gonna vacuum. Again, traffic patterns. We're not doing you know, perfect lines in the carpet. We're not doing that. We're just gonna hit where people walk. So you just, you know, just, the, you can see it in the pattern of the carpet where you walk, just vacuum that. And remember, you have less than 10 minutes to get all the areas that need vacuuming. And then when you're done, I think we've covered everything but make the bed. So if the clothes are now through washing, put them in the dryer, take a little rest. And the sheets are through washing, put them in the dryer, take a little rest, and then put them on the bed. If they're in the dryer, they may be dry, put them on the bed. You're done. So you've done, let's see, you've done the mirrors, you've done the paper, you've done the garbage, you've done the dusting, you've done the mopping, you've done the vacuuming, Hmm. I always have to check. I'm always surprised that I did it all, too. Hang on, here it is. Magazines, vacuum, mop, dust, polish mirrors, change sheets, and empty the trash. Yeah, that's it. So that's it, seven things. So if you do it in less than 10 minutes, it'll take you less than an hour. Okay? All right, now, that's your weekly home blessing. Now, for zones, we're in zone two, the kitchen. So what I'd like you to do is look at your kitchen and say, okay, I have everything clean in here. It's perfect. There's never perfect, so don't get excited. But it's good, and so I can deep clean in here. All right, that's great. And I'm gonna talk about that in a second, but I would say the majority of you, the majority of you do not have a decluttered kitchen. So if you don't, I want you to stop now, take a breath, 
Do not con con uh, condemn yourself. Don't say, oh, why did I let this place get like this? Don't say that. Instead, look at your clutter and say, that's okay. I have a plan because I'm giving you a plan right now. I want you to look at the countertop, which is probably where you have your biggest clutter because any flat surface collects clutter. All right, so let's look at the countertop. Depending on how big it is, you may want to divide it up. So if it's just a little bit and it looks like you could get it in 15 minutes, and you, by the way, will be surprised what you can do in a concentrated 15 minutes. But if you think you can get it in 15 minutes, that's great. If you can't, divide it up. Okay, I'm going to do a half of it or a quarter of it. And make a line and say, that's where I'm going to stop. And then set your timer for 15 minutes. You get a little timer. It doesn't have to be like this. You can use your phone. You can use the stove. But 15 minutes is critical. Have a drink of water. Set your timer. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Before you start, you've got to have something to put things in. If not, you are going to be running to and fro during your 15 minutes and get very little done. So I want you to stay in place, please. Take three containers. They can be three Walmart bags. One for trash, one for giveaway, one for put away. Or they could be a Walmart bag and a box and a laundry basket. I don't care, just three containers for throw away, put away, give away, okay? All right, so we're gonna start. Now, your mind works in nanoseconds. I have found that if you linger, you will not act. Trust your instincts. If you love it and you wanna keep it, of course you can keep it. Where does it go? It goes in the put away basket. And then later you'll have to decide where that goes. But if it is something that is broken, it's not fixable. Now look, everything's fixable, but don't get crazy. You're in a terrible condition right now. We want to get rid of clutter. We're not repairing everything you own. If it's something worthwhile, of course. But don't think that something you've kept for 12 years and it still hasn't been repaired is going to be repaired anytime soon, especially not while you're decluttering. Um, but it's your call. It's your home. However, let's see what we're going to do. We're going to, if it's broken and trashy, no one would buy it in this condition, then it's trash. So put it in the trash. If it is a good item, but it's a duplicate, or you don't ever use it and don't like it, whatever, or you don't know what it is, put it in the giveaway. And if it's something you like, you love, and it's worthwhile and you wanna keep it, but it's just not where it goes, put it in the put away. Don't move back and forth between rooms to putting things away, you'll waste time. When your timer goes off, you're done. So when the timer goes off, you're done. Stop. All right, now, take the trash to the garbage outside. Don't leave it in your house. Okay, when you get that done, take the put away, put it in a container that you will take it away in, and take that container to the back seat of your car, the back seat of your truck, your trunk, the back of your van, whatever, get it in the back, out of the way, because on Thursday is your errand day and you're gonna take that to DI or Goodwill or the woman's shelter or wherever, that's where it's gonna go, okay? And then your put away. Now this is the critical part of this. We are not collecting boxes and boxes of stuff. We're gonna put this away now. We're gonna finish our process. So we did 15 minutes of decluttering but now we're gonna take that box physically around the house like a backwards um, Easter egg hunt. We're gonna put them away. We're not finding things, we're putting things away. So these shoes go in the closet and this sweater goes on the hanger in the closet and these keys go on the hook and the dog leash goes, hmm, where should we keep the dog leash? Mm -hmm. And you find a place. So that's what you're gonna do. My checkbook goes in my desk or in my purse or whatever. So you're gonna take all the stuff and put it where it goes. If you have a problem because the place that it needs to go is overflowing, then put it nearby. Make a special area where things are gonna collect for that room so it's gonna go in, let's say, the closet in the den. Just an example, the closet in your bedroom that it's overflowing, you can't even get in there, then make a special box by the closet just for these things. Because when we get to the closet, we know these things really belong in the closet. You've decided to keep these things. 
and you're going to have the real estate, the room for it, once we get the things that you don't want to keep out of that particular closet. Trust me and trust the process. It will work. Okay, now, wow, go back and look. How did you do? Did you get more done than you thought you would? I bet you did. If you ran out of stuff to declutter, I hope you moved down the, down the counter a little bit. All right, now tomorrow you're gonna do the same, no, tomorrow you're not gonna do the same thing because tomorrow's your free day, but on Wednesday um, and Thursday and Friday, and if you want to Saturday, you're gonna do it again for 15 minutes. And then uh, the next week we'll be in a different room, so you'll stop. The, uh, the key to the whole thing, though, is not to reclutter. And how do you not reclutter? You complete the process. That's something that's so important. I am actually going to put a link for that up here. I really want you to complete your processes because that is what keeps you from having more clutter. It's finishing what you start. It's taking a breath, controlling your mind by writing down everything that's in it on paper so you're not distracted by your thoughts of things you need to do, and you're finishing your process. I feel that that will really be beneficial for you. Okay, so our weekly plan is done for the day which is our weekly house blessing, and our zone is done for the day. Now, all you have left to do is um, some more laundry if you need to, and after dinner routine and before bed routine. The rest of the day is yours, and this is the way it's going to be every day. I don't stay at home. I've decided to work outside of my home. How do I squeeze all this in? Well, what you'll do is your morning routine and if you have 15 minutes in the morning to declutter, excellent. If you don't have 15 minutes in the morning to declutter, um, then you would do that after work. As far as your weekly house blessing goes, you may choose to do that after work as well. Some people like to split it up and do one of the seven things each day of the week. So that's only 10 minutes or less every day. And that's another way to look at it. People have different levels of energy at different times, and some people have no energy left at the end of the day. And if that's you, then I want you to concentrate on your after-dinner routine, make sure you're getting your laundry done, make sure you're getting your before-bed routine. And then on Saturday, if that's your day off or whatever your day off happens to be, then you can do your weekly home blessing in one hour at that time, and you may also want to do your um, zone cleaning at that time. So let's say you did that. Let's say you are a typical person, you work eight to five, you work Monday through Friday, you've got kids in sports, and you just have no time at the end of the day, you barely get dinner on the table. And then Saturday morning when you get up, do your morning routine, because those are every single day. Get up, do your morning routine, have your coffee, have your breakfast, don't sit down. Don't sit down. We always want to do these things first so we can sit and play and relax for the rest of the day without the heaviness of we have to do something over our heads. So go straight to your weekly home blessing. A fun thing to do with kids is to have them help you. Give them one of the 10 minute items. Um, if they won't help, you know what? Get it done yourself, but you can teach them to do it. Um, but if you can't or you're not in that position yet, just do it yourself. So we're gonna do it from, let's say, Let's say you're ready to do it at nine o'clock in the morning. So do your weekly home blessing, nine to 10, and then do your weekly plan, 10 to 10, 15. Take about 10 or 15 minutes to put your things away. At 10.30, you have the rest of Saturday to do the other things you need to do or want to do. All right, it may include you have to do some of the other weekly plan things, like maybe you need to go to the grocery store. Um, Maybe you need to run the car to the car wash. You know, there's a few little things you need to do on Saturday, but do take time. Take several hours to have fun with your family on this day. Okay, I hope that was helpful for, helpful for you, for you fly babies who work. I was um, a fly baby who worked outside of the home as well, and I've tried all of those things. For me, it worked best to do my work on Saturday morning and get it done. But do what's best for you. You are the CEO of your home. You know your personality. You know your family. These are guidelines. All right, and one other thing I want to talk about now is detail cleaning. If you have reached the point where your kitchen is decluttered, then you're going to detail clean. So what I'd like you to think about, there's a list at flylady.net 
um, and you can find all the possible things that you might want to do in your kitchen. But it's your kitchen and you, you're bright, so I want you to look at your kitchen, start at the top and work your way down and see everything that you might want somebody to do. If money was no object and you hired someone to clean and they started at the top and worked the way down, their way down, what would you have them do for you? So make a list and say, okay, clean the cobwebs. Um, clean the window, clean the Venetian blinds, or they don't call them that anymore, the blinds, clean the windowsill, wipe the spots off the wall, wipe the switch, switch plates, um, clean the countertops thoroughly, clean the top of the fridge, clean the outside of the appliances, clean the freezer, clean the refrigerator, clean the stove, clean the oven, uh, re reorganize the pantry and clean that out. Um, polish the table if it's wood or wipe the table down really clean it well mop the floors really well clean the baseboards clean underneath the sink um, reshine the sink clean out the dishwasher I mean there are so many little things that you can pick to do but make your list and then let's say it's detail cleaning day you have 15 minutes to deep deep clean if you're an at-home um, fly baby, if you're work away from the home fly baby, you have 15 minutes to an hour on Saturday that you want to do it. But pick four things. What I say is pick four, four or five things that you want to do. Okay, so let's say you chose clean the vent over the stove. Um, you wanted to clean the oven. You wanted to clean the eyes of, of the oven if you have like gas or, or electric eyes. Um, you wanted to clean underneath the sink okay so those are four pretty good sized things to do so you start you just start doing those things so do you know how to clean those things if you don't know how to clean those things I would like you to let me know because I can do videos on those how to clean all of those things now I have an electric self-cleaning oven so I don't have a way to demonstrate how to clean an oven but there are YouTube videos on how to clean ovens but I will be happy to do all of the things you need me to do. I think though, if you haven't ever done those things, um, then maybe you would do something else and let me know what you want a video on and I'll make a video for you. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Um, I think it is. Anyway, I hope it is. Let me know. I hope you have a fantastic day. I'm so happy that you're following me here. Um, if you like this video, would you do me a favor and hit the like button? And I would appreciate that. Have a wonderful day, and remember, you are beautiful. Bye.